Hello everyone. Welcome to the next video of data structure and algorithm. In this video, we'll learn how to insert a new node after a given node in the double linked list. Okay. So as for the representation, we can realize that already one list is present. Okay. With four number of nodes. Every node is capable of keeping the address of next node as well as the address of the previous node and also its information. Okay. So I need to insert a new node, which already I have created to store the value 60. Okay. Now, whenever I have to insert the node after a given node, that means I need to insert after which node I want to insert. Clear? So suppose the value, whatever I have given is 30. That means after this node, 3000 node, I need to insert this 6000. Okay. So what I'll do first, I have to reach to that particular node. So I'll give the value of start to temp. Now I'll search when temp info is not equal to 30. That means I have not reached to that particular node. So here I'm checking temp info is not equal to 30. True. That means temp will come to the next node. Again, I'm checking temp info is not equal to 30. True. So I'm coming to the next node. Now here temp info is not equal to 30, false. That means I reach to my required node. Okay, and then I'll do my processing. Okay, this is one aspect. So for the second aspect is, I have entered the value. What I need to search is 130. Okay, so I'll come here. I'll start searching from the first node. Temp info is not equal to 130, true. So temp will come to the next node. Now temp info is not equal to 130. I'll come to the next node. This is as per our condition. Temp info is not equal to 130. Temp will come to the next node. Temp info is not equal to 130. Now temp will become null. Okay. And when temp will become null, that means my searching is also over. Clear? So my searching will be over in two cases. Either I got my value or I didn't get my value because that node is not present in the list. Okay. But if the node is present, then definitely temp will point to this one. So here I can directly write that new node next equal to temp next. So that means 4,000 I can keep here. But as this is double linked list, so 4,000 previous part I need to update and new nodes previous part also I need to update. So I'm taking one more pointers help. So this is PTR and PTR equal to temp info, temp next. So PTR is now pointing to the next node of temp. Now temp is pointing to 3000. PTR is pointing to 4000 and new node is pointing to 6000. Okay. So I need 6000 here so that this connection will be established. So I'll write temp next equal to new node. Simple temp next equal to new node similarly new node needs to connect here so instead of null i need to keep 3000 here so what i'll write now new node previous equal to temp so now connection between temp and new node has been established now what i'll do i'll connect new node to ptr so new node next Instead of null, I need to keep 4000 here. So I'll write PTR. So this connection has been established. Now, I, this is double link list. So I need to keep PTR previous equal to new node. So that instead of 3000, I'll keep the address of 6000 and it will be connected in reverse order. Okay. So very simple steps are there. We need to modify a bit in the program of single link list and you can go for the implementation of double link list. Okay. So let us understand what modifications we'll do in the program. So I have copied the entire code of insert after a given node of single link list and we'll see what the modifications I need to do. Okay. So I'm creating a new node, then checking whether memory is allocated or not. If memory is not allocated, then message will be given and leave the program. Otherwise enter the value to insert after inserting the item, I'll keep in the info part. The next part, I'm keeping null. 
but I, this is double link list. We have discussed in our previous videos also that I have to take care for the previous part. Okay. Now, if this is the first node I have created in the list, now start will become null. Now, if start equal to null, then new node will be given to start. Then, if already the list is present or start is not equal to null, then enter the node after which you want to insert. You will ask the user that after what node you want to insert, like single link list. Then you will start searching. Clear? Temp will get the value of start. And this loop will continue when one of them is not false. Okay? So temp will become null if the node is not present. I discussed in the example. Otherwise, I will get the I'll get the value where or after which I need to insert. Clear? So temp will go to the next node. Clear? Now after this loop, we are confirmed that this loop will be over in two cases. Either I'll get the node or I'll not get the node. So if this if condition is true, that means temp became null. That's why the loop is being stopped. So node is not present in the list. Otherwise, in the list, the node is present. And if it is present, what we have discussed, that will take the help of one more pointer that is PTR. Okay. And it will point to the next of temp. Okay. So in between temp and PTR, I have to insert the new node. So new node next equal to PTR. Then PTR previous will be new node. Okay. Then temp next equal to new node. Now temp is connected to new node, but new node needs to be connected to temp. Okay, simple steps. New node is connected to PTR. PTR is connected to new node. Temp is connected to new node. New node is connected to temp. Clear? So we have done the modification here while creating the first node. And then we have modified two more lines so that the node can be inserted at the proper position. Okay? So I, this is a menu driven program we need to give the option for that. But before that, we are defining or giving the function prototype. Okay. So case fourth. Done. So after option three, I need to give option four insert after a given node. Okay. So this will be case four. So let us execute. Now options are coming. So let us first traverse. Now we are sure that list is empty. So let us create the list, five number of nodes. List is created. After that, insert after a given node, option four. Okay. Now I want to give the option that I need to insert the value 60 after 30. Okay. So let us traverse. Now you can see after 30, 60 has been inserted. Okay. Previously, 60 was not there. So let us do the options once again, that insert after a given node. I want to insert 90 after 60. Okay. So let us traverse. You can check 10, 20, 30, 60, 40, 50 was the previous list. Now after 60, I have inserted 90. So 10, 20, 30, 60, 90, then 40, 50. Okay. So very simple program is here. You have to understand and implement. Now, all the special cases we are not discussing here, already we have implemented in single link list. So watch the video of single link list, get the meaning how insert after a given node we are doing, then give the option of first node, last node, and then modify your program. Okay. And compare what modifications you need to do so that you can achieve or you can get the result of double link list. Okay. 
Now you can see the algorithm. The start value is given to temp. The value also you are entering after which you want to insert. Then this loop we are providing here that while temp is not equal to null and temp info is not equal to value, temp will go to the next node. Okay. But if the loop will stop because temp became null, that means node not found after which you want to insert. Otherwise, temp next will become PTR. So in between temp and PTR, I have to insert the new node. Okay. So then the connection has been established. Okay. I'll suggest again that implement the program, do the modification and get the meaning of double linked list after a given node. Okay. So thank you everyone for watching this.